Welcome back, parents and teachers, as we continue part three of our series on multiplication strategies. Today, we will focus on two by two digit multiplication using the area model. And to ensure that you do not miss out on any upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to stay in the loop. The area model, or what some call the box method, is an alternative multiplication strategy that is taught in the third and fourth grade. Keeping in mind that according to Common Core, the traditional algorithm is not introduced until the fifth grade. So let's get into it. We will follow three simple steps when using the area model to multiply. First, we will break apart the numbers. Second, multiply, and then add the partial products. Here we have 56 times 23. Following through with step one, we will break apart the multi-digit factors. I've decided to break up both multi-digit factors by their place value. Since I know the five is in the tens place, I wrote 50 and six ones, six. Two tens equal 20 and three ones, three. However, keeping in mind that factors can be broken up in many ways, but for easier mental math computation, I find that this method is best. Now I'm ready to move on to step two, multiply. I will set up my multiplication area model in order to do so. As we can see here, it is obvious as to why some people term the area model the box method. The number of parts that the box is broken up into depends on how the factors were broken up. Now I am set to multiply. I will begin by multiplying the 20 by 50 and multiplying the 20 by six. When assisting your child in using this strategy, it is important to remind them to write their answers in the corresponding box. 20 times 50 will go in this box, 20 times six in this box. Now I'm ready to move on to multiplying the three by 50 and six. Once you're done multiplying, you take all of the partial products, as we see circled here, and add them up. When adding, the results will end up being the same whether the students add going down or across. After adding the partial products, I end up with 1,288. Therefore, I know that 56 times 23 equals 1,288. Let's try another one. In this example, we will be multiplying 46 times 32. We will begin with step one, breaking up the multi-digit factors. Now that I have broken up my two factors into 40 plus six and 30 plus two, I am ready to set up my area model to multiply. Keep in mind the number of parts that my box model will have depends on how I broke up my factors. Here I broke up the 46 into 40 plus six, therefore I have two columns going down, and 32 into 30 plus two, requiring two rows going across. Now I'm set to multiply. I will start by multiplying 30 times 40 and then 30 times six. After multiplying the 30 by 40 and six, now I'm ready to multiply two times 40 and two times six. Now that I am done multiplying, we are ready for part three, which is to add the partial products. After adding the partial products, I end up with 1,472. Therefore, I know that 46 times 32 equals 1,472. Well, parents, I hope that this step-by-step -step explanation of how to multiply using the area model supports you as you help your child at home with learning how to multiply two by two digit numbers. And not to forget, I've included this reference sheet just as a guide as you help your child at home. For your personal copy, feel free to reach out to me via email. My contact information is listed below in the description box. Until next time, take care.